Welcome to math. Today we're comparing counting up and counting back to subtract. Comparing these two methods, we're going to consider which one is more effective for solving the problem. So if we were to take 11 minus 8, we can use the counting up method or we can use the counting back method. To count up, it's like addition. So you would take 11 minus 8 and change it into an addition problem. So it would be 8 plus something equals 11. So I'll write that here. 8 plus something equals 11. To count back, you would leave it this, the way it is. 11 minus 8 equals something. Okay? So let's do the counting up first. Let's, we're going to start at 8, and we're going to see how many hops it takes us to get to number 11. So you know when we hop, we don't count the number we're on, we count only the hops. So here we go. 1, 2, 3. So it took us 3 hops to get to 11. So 8 plus 3 equals 11. So they want you to write down your numbers that you took. So I hopped to uh, 9. I hopped on 10, and I hopped on 11. So those are my numbers that it took to answer that problem. So now, counting back, you're going to start at 11, and you're going to count 8 hops back, and whatever number you land on is the answer. So, starting at 11, we're going to count, we're going to hop to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, 8. So we landed on 3. So our answer here is 3. And our numbers that we, we hopped on would be 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and 3. So they want you to understand, or they want you to, to compare which one was quicker. Was counting back quicker or counting up quicker? In this case, counting up would have been quicker. Okay. All right, let's try another one. Like I said, this can be tricky, but I think I can teach you how to make it not tricky. So, our next problem we could do would be 9 minus 7 equals. All right, and remember, when you're counting up, you're going to take it and make it an addition problem. So, 7 plus something equals 9. So, when you're counting up, you're going to start at the 7, and how many hops to get to 9? Okay, so 7 going to go to 8, that'd be 1 hop. going to go to 9, that'd be 2 hops. So 7 plus 2 is 9. So we have to write our numbers that we, we hopped on. We hopped on 8. We hopped on 9. Notice I'm not writing the number we started on, because we didn't hop on that one. We started on that one. All right, I'm going to switch markers. So counting back is subtracting. So it is 9 minus 7 equals something. Okay? So here we go. We're going to start at the 9. We're going to hop back 7 hops. Okay, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What number did we land on? 2. That is our answer. See how the answers are the same? So you're going to get the same answer. If you don't get the same answer, you did something wrong. You need to go back and fix it. You're going to get the same answer, but you're just getting it a different way. You're counting up, which is adding. You're counting back, which is subtracting. So now we have to write our numbers that we, that we hopped on. So we started at 9. We hopped on 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. 
So which one was the fa was faster? Again, counting up was faster. Great. All right. Let's erase and let's do another one. Let's do 13 minus 11. So again, counting up is like adding. So you're going to take the 11 plus something equals the bigger number, which is 13. So we're going to start at 11. And we're going to count how many halves to get to 13. 1, 2. So our answer is 2. Our numbers that we, t that we hopped on are 12 and 13. Counting back. It's just like it is here. It's subtracting. So 13 minus 11. I don't really need to write it again, but I will. 13 minus 11. I'm going to start on 13. I have to make 11 hops. And whatever number I land on after I, my 11 hops is the answer. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Did I land on 2? Yeah, so there's our answer. Now they want to know the numbers we landed on. So we started at 13. We went 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 2. Okay? Again, which one's the fastest way? You got it. Counting up. Okay, let's try it one more time. The last one we're going to do is 16 take away 12. Again, when you're counting up, you're making it into an addition problem. 12 plus something equals 16. So you're starting at 12. And remember, counting up means you're going forward. We're going to how many hops to get to 16? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 is our answer. Now we have to write down our numbers that we hopped on. 13. 14, 15, and 16. Okay, counting back. Counting back is subtracting, so we don't really need to change it. Just going to rewrite it so we can see it down here. Starting at 16, but we have to make 12 hops back. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. What number did we land on? We landed on 4, so our numbers are the same that we're missing. Now we have to write all the numbers that we hopped on. So we started at 16, then we went 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. So again, which one's faster? Yep, counting up took us less time. There are some facts that counting back is faster. So it's not always counting up. So you really have to do it to figure it out. Okay, so let's open our math journals to page 142. Solve each problem by counting up. Record your counts. Then solve each problem by counting back. Record your counts. Circle which way was faster. So 9 take away 2, you're going to count up first, just like I did. That's what I did first so you would get used to counting up. Counting up is addition. So change this in, into addition. 2 plus something equals 9. You can write it right above if you want or right out here on the outside. I don't care. Use your number grid to find out how many hops. And then write down your numbers that you, that you hopped on. Counting back. 9 take away 2, so you don't need to change anything. You're going to do that. You're going to start at 9. You're going to count back, and you're going to count how many hops it took you, and you're going to record your numbers down here. Okay? So that one's 1, 2, 3, and 4, all the same. Exactly my lesson, exactly what I just showed you. And the only thing I can stress is when you're counting up, turn it into an addition problem. Okay? When you turn it into an addition problem, it's the smaller number plus uh, a number that's missing, equals the bigger number, which is always going to be in the front, because your bigger number when you're subtracting is always in the front. So 142 and 143 math boxes. So we've got some subtraction problems, 
greater than, less than, or equal to. Again, you have to figure out how much this is worth on this side, how much this is worth on this side, and then compare them. Find the sum, use the number grid if you'd like. So your f sum is, is the um, answer, what it's equal to. So finding the sum. Here's a word problem. With, you have to write the number model. So number five is adding three numbers together. And number six is subtracting. And it's asking what addition fact can you use to solve that subtraction? So it's pretty easy. I think you can handle it. If you have any um, problems, um, shout out to me and I will help you. It, it's definitely a, a tricky concept, but I think once you realize what counting up and counting back is, you'll be fine. Okay, so let me know. Post a seesaw so I can see your work. Have a great day.